Hello and welcome to Travel Beans and welcome to another day in paradise. And for those of you that watched the last video, you'd see that it wasn't really paradise for me and I was not in the best mood. Luckily, thanks to a sleep, which is basically human's reset button for when you're in a bad mood, hopefully you can tell I am in a lot better mood today. So we're going to take advantage of that and what are we going to do in paradise? We're going to go snorkeling. Do you know why? Because it makes me happy. And then after snorkeling, hopefully we're going to these cave pools uh, that looks like this big hole in the ground. You have to get a ladder down. It, awesome. it looks really, really cool, really excited. So let's go snorkeling. How was that? Amazing. I got stung by something. Yeah, look at her chest. Whoa, you can see how red it is. Whoa. Yeah. Really, really hurts. So, wait, there, like there, there's like a big lump. Ah, lab. don't fucking touch it. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's a lump there. Oh, it really hurts, but it was so fucking worth it. <laughs> I don't care if there's scars. That was amazing. This is some of the best coral I've seen in a really long time. Like, so colorful, so much variety. We saw so many like tiny little like um, anemones with uh, clownfish in them, like really, really cute. And the background behind you looks unbelievable right now. <laughs> this is crazy. My chest hurts so much. I'm so torn because I'm like super like high and elated from the snorkeling, but also I'm in like, quite a lot of pain right now. We should probably go and sort this out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my sting has finally gone down and we have decided we're going to go to a cave called... We will tell you what it's called when we get there. We have just got to Kagbagnao Cave. Obviously, probably wrong. <laughs> uh, we're now walking down this pretty cool little dirt track. I don't really know what to expect. Um, no, I'm excited though because it looks like a cave, but not a cave like you think of it. It's like a cave from the top. A ground so cave. Yeah. yeah. We only have a little bit of time here before we then have to check out of our awesome place. Guys, you've got to stay at one piece and come yeah, to Ando, it's, it's really so cool. Awesome. And yeah, and in the evenings they do like family dinner time, so like everyone sits around this huge table and they have like locally caught fish and it's amazing. And apparently it's going to rain this afternoon we've got a two hour bike drive, so we need to be aware of that and try and avoid with all this equipment, <laughs> all this braking equipment, <laughs> because I, um, we just, when we flew the drone at the last place we were at uh, to go snorkeling, the drone is... It's misbehaving again. It's misbehaving, but every now and again it stops so it looks like I can film some awesome stuff, but like this right now is what really the drone is doing most of the time. After this, we're going to Lobok River, which is kind of near the Chocolate Hills, which is a very yeah. touristy spot here. And I also, really want to see them, but at the same time, like, um, it can be ruined if they're, it's super crowded. So we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. Maybe we'll go and see the Chocolate Hills, maybe not. But we're staying in a tree house tonight, which is really cool. And something Thank else that, that we realised um, earlier today is that it's our six year anniversary tomorrow <laughs> and we kind of forgot about it. <laughs> uh, but we're staying in a tree house, so I think that's a pretty good celebration. And we never buy each other presents really for Christmas or birthday uh, and anniversary, so we never make deal. Now. <laughs> so let's go check out these caves. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows? Who knows if we get 
forget joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul Don't drench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly Try so hard to get there and we might, we might Be lost but not forever Things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end This is near the end of our time in Anda and there's still so much things we didn't go and do and see. I'm gutted that we're leaving actually. Yeah, I think I could spend about a week here. I think there's enough to do uh, and just relaxing, snorkeling. You could never get bored of that. If we weren't staying in a tree house, I'd be very, very sad that we're leaving. But that looks awesome. So I'm very, very excited. And just here in the Philippines, there's always just something new. Like uh, every single day, we said it on another video, every single day people are just recommending stuff to you. So in the pool, just then, some French guy was like, have you been to this place and this place? Never even heard of it. Uh, everywhere, there just seems to be so many secret little spots. I mean, that wasn't that secret, but there was only still 10 people there or something yeah. like that. It's not bad. Relatively <laughs> quiet when you compare it to... Uh most touristy places, especially in Thailand, you know? If there was something like that in Thailand, there would be hundreds of people around there. Especially because Bolhol was supposed to be one of the most touristy spots here in the Philippines. Uh, there's just so many amazing little tiny spots. <laughs> I guess that's what you get though. Like if you just go off the main beaten track just a little bit, even if it's still like fairly well known, there's a lot of people that can't be bothered to come all this way. Yeah. So I know a lot of the tourists. Is good. A lot of tourists. They just arrive into the port in Bolhol and they do day trips to the Chocolate Hills and to the river, which is only really it's only maybe an hour away from the ferry port. So luckily, out here is three hours. Just three hours. That's nothing, guys. Get over to and uh, rent a bike because how cool was that drive the other day? If you didn't see it, look for that video. Are you in pain? Are you trying to hold it in for the uh, for the subscribers? Vent to them. <laughs> oh, okay. She's been stung, she's <laughs> stubbing her toe. Okay, whoa, <laughs> this road is very uneven. That's enough rambling for today. We're gonna go get some lunch and we're gonna go check out and get on the road again. One thing you have to do when you come to Bolhol is rent a motorbike. If you do not rent a motorbike, you're doing yourself a massive disservice because there is so much to see on this island. Get away from the tourist spots, explore it on your own. I promise you, you won't regret it. It's incredible. Right now, this is just off the main road. We pulled over and there are rice fields everywhere, cliffs and mountains in the distance. It's an old mining road. So you've got workers coming up and down. They're really friendly and nice. It's incredible. Cue the montage. <laughs>
underestimated bowl hole. This place is incredible. This is easily the best drive we've ever done. And the scenery the whole way along the coastline was beautiful, but then as soon as we turned inland towards the river, oh my goodness, it's a whole other ball game here. It is beautiful. We just arrived at the river as you can see and the colour of that water. Oh my goodness. It seems to be a reoccurring theme in the Philippines that wherever you go the water has to be perfect. That's just the rules. So we just got here. <laughs> so it's so nice. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Okay, basically the sun has just gone down so we can't give you guys a tour yet. Um, Trust me, I really want to show you guys so bad. This place is amazing. So make sure you watch the next video because you're going to see one of the coolest places and also this place is very cheap to stay. Uh, I think we're paying maybe about like $30. 25, dollars? Uh, 25 but pounds, that's the one. Wait till you see the video. I promise you it's well worth watching. Yeah. Uh, however, what an amazing day. Oh my God, this is one of the best days. This is up there. <laughs> and what's really cool is the video on the last one, you haven't even seen this bit yet, but mm. when I filmed just myself and ended the video yesterday, I was quite down and mm. I was being quite down and trying to say like, you know, it doesn't matter, uh, there's always like another, there's always another day and mm. today is the next day Today's and it's up day. there with the travel days, it was fantastic. I'm glad. And guess what guys, it's our anniversary tomorrow. It is, we're going to be waking up in a tree house. We're oh by the way, house. we're in a tree house. We're in a tree house. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow, but you'll see, we're in a tree house. Um, if you like the video, you know what to do, give it a smash. Yeah, I mean smash the like button, smash it really hard. <laughs> Leave us a comment, yeah. say nice things, lots of nice things. They're really All nice. All the nice stuff. things. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed. Smash just... the subscribe button as well. Oh, okay. Actually, no, don't smash two things. Tickle the like button, smash the subscribe button Tickle this week. The like okay? Button. Um, and I think this is when we say beans out. And then you've got to say it with like really a lot of energy. Mm. I think you're better at it than me. Beans <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs>